Hello and welcome to another Tia Thursday. Yay! Today we're quickly going to look at something called a reference project. We have an old project, we have a new project, we have made some advancements, uh, advancements we have made some changes, um, but our program doesn't work anymore. Luckily we have an old version of the program or a different version or a safety save that we made last week or so that's always recommended always like every day basically before you start reprogramming something make a safety copy right <clears throat> and i'm going to show you why you need that in case you break everything uh, you can just load it but then all your advancements all your changes are lost what we will do is we use that reference project that's how it's called um, to actually see what the changes are and apply changes if needed. So let's see. <clears throat> I have got my project open and you can see here in my list I have some functions, not too complex, but I've got some functions. I reprogrammed some stuff, but now it doesn't work anymore. I know that the old status, the one, the safety copy from yesterday uh, worked, so I can open that safety copy. Don't open it as a new project. We have here on top, we have view and there's something called reference projects. From the standard side, it is turned off. So, so from the um, presettings and we can turn it back on reference projects. And then you see it shows here on the left side. We can also turn it off and then it's gone again. Right. Turn it on uh, because we want it on. In this reference project, we just can to do two things, open a reference project or close the reference project. I just want to open one and then we see I've got, this is the one I've got currently open and this is the uh, project from yesterday. I made a safety copy and I can just open it, right? Selecting the TIA portal file, I open it and now the reference project, you see it here in the left list, is open. That includes variables, hardwares, controllers, networks. This is the whole project, right? So we're really looking at the whole project that is open now. So I basically have two projects. On top, I have my current project and on the bottom, I have my old project, my safety copy. <clears throat> now we actually want to compare those two. This is the function. This is the name of the function. It's a compare function. We can now Whatever we want to compare, for example, the controller here, I can right click and there is a compare. And I can do it with the with the PLC. I can also do it um, with all the single things inside the PLC. So for the program blocks, I can also right click and there should be compare. Okay, no, we have to, oh, we can quick compare, yeah. We can quick compare, but we can't compare, compare the whole thing. Let's compare the whole thing. Right click on my controller, on my PLC here, and there we have compare. And we have offline, online. That would be in the current project and online on the PLC. So basically when you click on those glasses, that's what you always do. Um, well, of course, there's a little bit more here. And we can do offline, offline, which is, <clears throat> which is in the current project and in the reference project. Offline, offline, that's what I want to do. Now I have on the left side my current project. And on the right side, there is nothing selected yet, uh, but I want to compare my current project with something so I can take the uh, PLC. So I, I right clicked on the PLC here, right? And I want to compare it with the controller with the PLC from the other project, from my old one. So I can just drag and drop the controller here from the old project, from the reference one in here, right? Up here, there is insert here to add new object or replace the one. If there's already one, we can replace it. So now I put it there and you can see on the left side is my existing, my new project. On the right side, there's the older one, right? <clears throat> and I, if I scroll, you see I scroll on both sides as they are pretty similar. So there's some information here that we can see green bubble. So I have my main function on both sides. I have cyclic interrupts on bo both sides. So you see green bubble, indicates that these objects are identical. That's the first thing we can have. Then there's this um, gray and blue bubble. Half is gray on the right side here because it's a reference project. The other half is blue because it's our current project. And you see gray and blue, they're both filled, meaning they both exist, but they are both different. We can see that objects are different. Then we have one more down here, right, with this. On the right side, we see cyclic interrupt PID. On the left side, we see does not exist. 
right? So this block does not exist in my current project, but it exists on the um, old project. And this is marked with a blue is empty, meaning right now in our project, it's not there. A gray is filled out, meaning it is there in the other project, All right? <clears throat> yeah. There could also be blue is filled out. That means it exists in our new project and gray is empty, meaning it didn't exist in the older one. So what we want to do is now actually compare this function, this FC, the manual control, it's different in both cases. Um, some more things actually before we go into the detail here on top. On the top, we have some filter options, right? We have some filter options. This, the first button here means show identical and different objects, which just lists you everything. And then we have show only objects with differences. If I click on this, you see all objects are deactivated and we only have the ones with the difference, which makes more sense, right? So now we only have those two that are actually different. Let's leave them all open. The next is we could have some filters, right? We could have standard blocks and we could have safety and we could have some other filters, not really needed. Uh, hierarchical view and flat overview. Flat means all objects are on the same level. Hier hierarchical view, of course, is uh, with the hierarchy. First, it's the PLC, then it's object, uh, then it's program blocks, and so on. So a folder system. This one we can't do, right? The start detailed uh, comparison. I would have to select a function that I want to go into the detailed view. You see, now I can click on it. If I select the PLC, for example, I can't. Then we have refresh, that makes sense. We have execute actions, I'll get to that in a second. And we have further criteria. Hey, I, own, I don't want to display safety differences, stuff like this, right? Or I, I don't want to see properties that are different, so I deselect properties. Or language, I don't care about language, just programming, language, stuff like this, right? <clears throat> so, next thing, we have here manual control, right? I can go into it. Either I can double click on the function or I can go into the detailed comparison. I click on the detailed comparison, it will open the function. And you see on the left side, this is in my project right now. On the right side, this is in my reference project. So, yeah. <clears throat> and I can see, I, I can just on top here, I can make new networks, I can delete networks, I can basically program on my online, offline, uh, on my current project, which I don't want to do, we could do it, but well, to adapt to changes and so we can still do programming here, of course, that's why we have this. I can close all the networks, that's what I do. And I can see the differences. Network one, green, both the same. Network three, green, both the same. Network two, blue, gray, difference. Right. So I would open network two here and I can see, hey, there's a difference between those two. And it also lists me here. This difference is here. It's that number. It marks it, right? You see the blue background. It marks the difference. Right. We could also, right, if, and you see they're both scrolling at the same time. We can deactivate this scrolling if we only want to scroll on one side. On top, there's a button. Synchronize scrolling. If I deactivate it, you see I can scroll through both, but I like the synchronized scrolling. <clears throat> we can have also some buttons here, position the first difference, position to the previous, position to the next and to the to the last. Of course, I only have one difference, so that doesn't make any difference here. But if you would have like 20 differences, you could use those four buttons to jump between those. And we have update. If we made changes, we can update the comparison. <clears throat> yeah. So now I see yesterday it was zero. Now today it is seven. This is a change I made, but that's not the thing that breaks my program. Right? That was just an adjustment. So that's fine. I'll leave it. I can close this here and I still have this detailed, the, this comparison view. The next thing I see, the function does not exist here. Right? Does not exist, but it exists on my previous project. So there's definitely a difference. If I go into it, I can't. If I try to go into it, I can't because it doesn't exist, right? So what we can do now is, oh, I realize this is the mistake. I accidentally deleted something, right? I deleted it. I erased it from my current project. There's this button here. There is this stop button and I can perform an action. I can make a copy. I can take the old version from yesterday, right? And copy it to the new version on the left side. 
that's what I do with selecting here the arrow, right? I can say no action, nothing would happen, or I can say copy, right? In this, I want to copy from the old one into the new one. The upper one here, where I said, hey, zero is okay, and uh, zero, zero was yesterday, and seven is the number that I want today. I don't want to copy the change. I could also now select here, of course, override, which would override my current state, but I don't want that. I don't want to perform an action. Okay. So, so you can select every single block that has a difference. You can select what you want to do. Uh, you can't, of course, copy into your old project, right? You can't copy into your reference project because you don't want to change that. So here we can copy. And you see on top here, this button, this execute action button, hard to see. But if I select here just this pause button, oh, come on, the no action button, it is deactivated, so I cannot execute the action. And if I click on copy, I can actually execute the action. So if I click on this, it's performing the action and you see it actually took, uh, which one was it? I don't know exactly which one it was. I could check it down here, I think. No, I can't. Uh, yeah, it took one of those. Uh, it took the function, the FB, oh, it's, yeah. It took the OB, whichever it was, and actually copied it to my current project. So now I repaired my project using the old one. I can save and I now know my project will work. The last thing on this, here on top we also have this button hardware. I can also uh, check on different hardware. Are there any hardware differences? Did I do anything on the hardware? This was just the software, the blocks, the variables and so on. I can also go here into the hardware. Right. <clears throat> and I see, hey, those two controllers, they are the same. They have the same setup, so I won't change anything. <clears throat> Just so you saw it, we can also select the, uh, compare the hardware. So now that I actually fixed everything using this reference project, I know, hey, I don't need you anymore. And I can close the reference project, which will close the reference project here, of course, on the right side. I can close my comparison view and I'm done. Right? So we can compare old projects to new ones. Always make sure you have safety copies, basically every day. Whenever you want to make a change, make a safety copy. It's a tier portal thing. It's just a couple of megabytes. You can have a thousand safety copies. The best would be, of course, always in the file name, put your date and time. So now I would say, hey, this is the current version. So I want this CSC and today is the um, uh, 1, 12, 2019. So I've got the date saved. Actually, you would do it the other way around, right? So you can actually uh, sort by it. It's the 1st of December 2019, so now I save this and I have this as a reference project now. I could always use that as a reference. Good. I hope this helps a little bit. Um, if you like this, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week around or in the next video. I'll see you. Have a nice day. Bye.